Today we're making a new microwave heating element. This one should be able to reach much higher temperatures, hopefully even up to the steel range, which is around 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we'll just put this in the kiln. We finished firing, so now our element is all done. Let's take a look. Okay, a little bit of cracking, but I think we're ready for science. I'm putting steel bottle caps into the crucible. This will help me test the temperature. Next, I just put the element right on top of the bottle caps. I'm using standard microwaves for these tests. I'll be measuring every 10 minutes. Remember, things get a little spicy, so you need to have safety equipment. Okay, let's check our temperature. Just kidding. Uh, I accidentally dropped my element and it broke. So instead of crying, we're gonna take a look at it. There's some pieces in here that are quite hard, like that one, and then other pieces here that are actually quite soft. Today was just a lesson in patience and tomorrow we'll make another. Last time on Dragon Balls, ha, just kidding, but I am actually turning yesterday's failure into something new. This silicon carbide is still good, and I want to see if I can actually use this and center it in my microwave setup. While PEG may be an unconventional binder for something like this, I think it has some promise. I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. This is actually used as a laxative in most cases. I'll first mix this with water, and then I'll add the silicon carbide into this cup. After that, that's going to go into this mold, which will freeze, and then center. I know, this isn't a very clean cup or stick, but I think it's going to go okay for this test. After stirring, it's starting to thicken, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I poured the emulsion after I mixed it, and it thickened. Afterwards, I put it into the freezer. In my next vid, I'll center this in the microwaves. One day later, we have our frozen silicon carbide puck. That's going to be demolded and placed in the crucible. Show this here, it has captured some details. Not that it really matters. Uh, I'm really just testing to see if this can center properly. Just like that. Okay, now we'll just put the lid on. I'll be doing 10 minute bursts and monitoring the temperatures as I go. Here's the back of my microwaves because it got really smoky and I'm outside now. We're stopping this test here. Seem to have a bleed through. If you can see that, uh, it's burning through the crucible. I was able to get this out with tongs and uh, save the microwave. Uh, have that cooling off now. That plate there is uh, upwards of a thousand Fahrenheit. This was 25 minutes in the microwave. There's definitely molten areas in here. We'll have to let this cool before we understand if this is properly centered or not. Several hours later, this has cooled off. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to find. This does seem to be hard, which is promising. That's the hole where the bleed through happened. This actually burned through the alumina crucible, which is quite astounding to me. Some degree of centering going on here, but it does seem to be powdery. So uh, it doesn't look like it totally centered. Uh, which is not surprising. I stopped the experiment a little early. Uh, perhaps maybe an hour of centering or two hours of centering at a hold time. We could get this to work properly. Uh, but it's going to need another test. And thankfully, I have a whole bunch of silicon carbide on my garage floor. So I have plenty of material to test with.